You're watching Sioux City School. You're watching Sioux City School. You're watching Sioux City Good morning, everyone, and uh, welcome to the Brockton Police Station this morning uh, for an important announcement and demonstration. As of 11.30 p.m. on Tuesday evening, our new shot spotter system, five square miles of gunshot detection technology, went live and is now in full operation. Uh, this represents a major commitment and a major investment uh, by the city and the police department in providing our officers and our detectives with the best, latest technology to support their efforts. Uh, we did previously have a small pilot version of ShotSpotter that was uh, deployed about eight years ago in a one square mile area, uh, but it was a, more of a trial program and over the years the technology was not updated, the system was not maintained, it had very limited residual effectiveness. Uh, what we have uh, installed and unveiled this week is the latest shot spotter technology over a five square mile area here in the city. Uh, and we're, in just a moment, uh, we'll have Jack Pontius from Shot Spotter actually give you a demonstration and show you just what this system is capable of. Uh, this system is going to help us in three critical areas. First of all, in terms of response time, and I'll allow the chief to uh, explain a little bit more in detail how we've been responding to a report of a gunshot or gunfire up until this Tuesday night, and how that response will differ with the ability to get almost immediate information in terms of uh, the location of where a gun may have been fired. Uh, this is also part of our overall commitment to improving technology and employing the collection of data to generate meaningful reports so that the chief and his top managers can make good decisions as to how to best deploy the resources that we have. Uh, it's not just about adding more resources, but it's about deploying the resources we have as effectively as possible. And uh, this ties in with several other investments we're making. We've added two positions to the IT department. We have now a new IT technician along with an IT network systems analyst that are dedicated solely to public safety, police, fire, and BEMA. Uh, because we know that as we invest in technology, we have to have the support here for our first responders to implement it. We're also in the process of posting a position of crime analyst so that we can have a full-time specialist who will be able to collect this data, interpret it, and put it in the form of meaningful reports from which the chief can make command decisions. And this is also going to be very important, the spot shot at, the shot spot at technology uh, for our investigators uh, in investigating a crime and also in supporting our prosecutors so that we can get convictions to go with the arrests. So I think this is a big step forward in terms of the city's commitment to public safety in our neighborhoods and on our streets. And uh, at this time, I would like to invite uh, Chief John Crowley to come up and share a few of his thoughts in terms of what shot spotter means to the city of Brockton and the Brockton Police Department. Chief. Thank you, Mayor. Good morning. Our recent <clears throat> shot spotter expansion is going to make our police department go from a reactive response to a proactive response. In the past, we would react when we got a call. If we got a call on gunshots, our units would respond there. Now we're going to get instant notification from the shot spotter system with the updated technology. We're going to be able to put our units there faster, quicker. We're going to be able to locate witnesses, speak to witnesses, and with any luck, we're going to be able to catch the people as they're fleeing or leaving. Um, it's going to change the whole playing field that we're currently under. 
and it gives us another tool in the toolbox of the city's ongoing effort to curb gun violence in our city. The Brockton Police Department in the city of Brockton is committed to any, use any and all resources that are available to us to fight this fight, to make Brockton a safer place for all its residents. And this is another tool that's going to help us do that. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. When the Chief and I uh, recently visited uh, Commissioner Bill Bratton down at the New York Police Department and spent a day there with the NYPD, you know, we had the chance to witness firsthand the real state of the art technology and how it's used uh, both from a Homeland Security perspective and also from a law enforcement perspective. And New York City, not too long ago, uh, deployed shot spotter there. And one of my takeaways from the New York folks was something the chief just said. And it's not just about um, looking to capture a perpetrator, a suspect, as they leave the scene. Sometimes there's a little bit of luck involved in that as to how close we may have had a unit at the time the, the shot spotter notification came. But, but what we heard down in New York was how much more effective this makes the police department in identifying witnesses. Because we know that quite often at the, at the scene of where a gun has been fired, the witnesses disappear almost as quickly as the perpetrators do. And by the police being able to get to the exact location quickly, uh, they will be much more effective also in terms of identifying witnesses and getting statements that will provide immediate assistance to the investigation. Uh, so I, I think that's a, an important point for us to make too. And when you hear this idea of expansion and upgrade, uh, we were talking just before we came out. And to put this in perspective for folks, uh, that very small trial uh, area that we had from eight years ago to where we've unveiled today, it's like going from an iPhone 1 to an iPhone 6 overnight. That's how dramatic the improvement is in the technology. And then multiply that times five, because now it's five square miles covering a large portion uh, of the city. And that coverage map, that coverage area was designed with the Brockton Police Department working closely with the technicians uh, at ShotSpotter. So uh, without uh, delaying any further, I want to bring up uh, Jack Pontius from ShotSpotter, who we've been working very closely with. And uh, Jack will give you uh, some more information and actual demonstration to show you how our new ShotSpotter system will work. Jack? Thank you, Mayor. Yep. Chief, thank you. Hello everybody, my name is Jack Pontius and I'm the Northeast Director for ShotSpotter. I've been with the company since uh, 2005, so I've seen a lot of growth. As a matter of fact, we're in uh, 12 Massachusetts cities now and over 90 cities across the country and we have international deployments as well. What you're going to see today is, as to the Mayor's point, some upgrades to the technology, not only from the standpoint of new sensors that we've deployed throughout the community, but also uh, upgrades to the software itself. We have purpose-built software that is specific to the task that uh, is at hand. And what I mean by that is patrol and those that are responding to gunfire incidents will see a, a specific type of uh, alert console. It's all web-based. Uh, it's a platform that enables them to access information very, very quickly. As a matter of fact, our average alert is coming into the patrol cars onto their computer, their laptops, in about 30 seconds. We also have information that is accumulated in our investigators portal, which is also a new enhanced version of our software platform, which enables detectives and crime analysts and investigators, as well as those that are prosecuting uh, uh, these crimes, uh, to uh, get a, uh, a view of what's been going on historically. Uh, detectives will be able to come in and be able to analyze incidents from what happened the night before and jump right on it. Um, and, and crime analysis and investigators will be able to uh, mine this database of incidents and allow the chief and his command staff to make better use of the resources that they have by the intelligence that we're now providing. Putting the right patrol people and the right investigators in the right places at the right time. So without any further ado, I'd like to play a quick uh, video which will kind of give you a sense of 
how we work and from the perspective of what other communities are saying, not only uh, law enforcement, but also political and citizens. So I'm going to go ahead and, and kick that off and then we'll demonstrate the software. A shot rings out in the streets of Oakland. But where was it? Did someone shoot back? Was the shooter indoors or out? Enter ShotSpotter, Silicon Valley technology solution technology to the problem of gun violence. It's an NSA-like tool for urban police using highly sensitive sensors to capture the sound of gunshots and specialized software to analyze and locate each incident. We can literally say, you know, front yard, backyard, near the driveway. The call comes from here. Ralph Clark is CEO of SST, the company that invented ShotSpotter. What we want to do is have law enforcement have the confidence to get to that very specific location quickly, get out of their patrol car, and potentially recover physical forensic evidence, oftentimes capture at perp. Here's how it works. SST installs dozens, even hundreds, of hidden sensors in the community. As soon as the shots ring out, the shot is picked up by at least three shot spotter sensors to triangulate the location. These are each of the sensors that heard that boomer bang. And it's instantly reviewed by a team of gunfire experts at the shot spotter command center in Silicon Valley. Distinguishing uh, gunshots from regular ambient noise is a very challenging uh, problem. The math problem around locating with a high degree of confidence a very specific location within five to ten feet is challenging. The shot spotter tech alerts officers on the ground with precise data. It's a lot more than just an address. If you're dealing with a situation with, you know, ten shots fired, you think three shots came from over here, you think seven shots came from over there. When you push that alert out to an agency, you want to be able to communicate that. ShotSpotter technology has been rolled out in 75 communities, from Oakland to Milwaukee to Miami to Rio. And in every city, police say the technology has helped substantially reduce gun violence. It's light years from the technology before ShotSpotter. We were writing down calls for service on a piece of cardboard paper that we'd tape to the center console of a Crown Vic. Um, so to have this amount of information responding to a call uh, is potentially life-saving. Sergeant Christopher Bolton yeah, says the data uh, gathered from ShotSpotter so has helped the Oakland police target bad guys with guns. Where we use this technology to pinpoint a neighborhood that had uh, an extraordinary amount of gunshot activity. We coupled that with other intelligence that uh, we had gathered and we successfully served a search warrant where we recovered uh, multiple firearms, including assault weapons, uh, and made a total of eight arrests on that day. For Ralph Clark, the technology is one step to making the world a safer place. Gun violence is a very uh, complicated uh, problem. There's no single solution uh, to the problem of gun violence. This is uh, what we call our mobile alert console. Again, it's a web-based platform, which means that those patrol officers in the field, all they do is log in to the internet and put their credentials in, and they have access to the actual mobile alert console which lives passively in the system tray, doesn't interfere with all the other applications that are running on a very busy patrol officer's computer. <laughs> a lot of stuff going on in that squad car these days. But when an incident should occur, a toaster will pop up that says there is an incident that is occurring, and he can bring this alert console up quickly, which enables him or her to have data related to that gunshot incident. And by the way, before we send this incident through as a bona fide gunshot event, whether it's multiple gunshots or a single gunshot or a possible gunshot, our incident review center out in California is getting this information from the sensors to our location server, and then they're going to analyze the data as well. So all this happens in a very short time frame. We guarantee that we're going to push this alert out to the field in under a minute, and as I mentioned before, we're usually averaging about 30 seconds. The average 911 call comes in throughout the country in about three to five minutes. So you can see this is a huge, huge accelerated response, potentially, and much more accurate. So the officer will be able to re look at this incident from a number of view vantage points. We have bird's eye view. They can look at it from different streets front yard, backyard, out on the street, zoom in, zoom out. This is all touch screen technology. So you can see this one right around this particular house. 
and they'll able, able to play the audio. That's 24 rounds, right, at a residential location. The responding officer will likely, with this information, want to call for maybe some backup, <laughs> right? It's not a single gunshot that maybe occurred somewhere and that you know, some out, out the front door of somebody's house. This is a bona fide multiple gunshot event and extremely dangerous. So in addition to being very precise and accurate, we're able to provide information not only that they typically wouldn't have, but also provides for officer safety. Let's look at another one. Here's one out on the street. And again, you can look at this from a number of different vantage points. And the vantage points are interesting because it gives police officers that are responding the ability to look at the different neighborhoods and how best to respond to this incident. If there's gangs, that are known to be active in this area, maybe they'll want to respond to the other areas where there might be some retaliation as well. And then we'll play the audio, of course. Six rounder. So we give a lot of information to the officer, lat long, the exact location, the parcel address, and the dot on the map is not just the address. It's very accurate within, you know, few feet typically. Behind that oak tree, behind is it behind the house? Is it out on the street? Do you have a point in there? <clears throat> Jack, if you could just point this out also that in the event that the sh gunshots are being fired from a moving vehicle, this is actually going to give the police the direction and the speed of that vehicle from the, from where it was being shot. So not only the location where the round was fired, but also as we're trying to flood the area and apprehend the suspect they know what direction they were going so they could potentially intercept or have a much better opportunity to locate the vehicle. It based, to the mayor's point, based on the ability for us to detect each gunshot, right, we're able to know that he's firing multiple rounds and moving that in this particular case the gunshots were moving northeast at 31.8 miles per hour. We're able to inform police, police response teams, as the mayor pointed out, that uh, they need to stage officers maybe you know, in a position to intercept that vehicle as it tries to flee the scene. So this is the uh, mobile alert console, again, purpose-built specifically for response. Very friendly, all fat finger friendly for police officers, and very, very not complicated. We also have the uh, incident or investigators portal and this is uh, the investigators portal for Brockton. Um, we went back to May 1st and uh, we pulled up uh, search results that um, provide a number of incidents over the course of the summer where again investigators and crime and analysis folks can come in and, and look at trends to see where crime might be displacing or moving or where the active intersections are. Certainly information that the chief of police would want to know as he starts to think about uh, deploying his resources. So I'll play you a couple of these. Here's a 11 rounder on July 24th. And here's the neighborhood that that multiple round gunshot occurred in. And you can again zoom in on that location. The dot on the map will say multiple with a big M on it. As you can see, that gunshot, our multiple gunshot event, occurred right out there on the street near that intersection or near that driveway in that house. Certainly uh, gives re responding officers, again, as I mentioned before, information that they would not have had even if a well-meaning citizen did call in via 911. The investigators portal is the historical database. It does provide for the ability to create reports on these, uh, these incidents as, they, as the detectives need them. We have a variety of reports, enhanced reports, and a detailed forensic report that 
literally is something that can be utilized all the way through the chain of custody from the time that the detectives are receiving it through all the way through the prosecution. And ShotSpotter does provide expert witness testimony to support the science behind these incidents. And we have case law in I think 20 some states across the country. We definitely have case law here in Massachusetts. And I'll t be here to tell you right now, we have yet to uh, have any defense lawyer challenge us successfully because the science holds up extremely well in court, um, especially here in Massachusetts. And um, our expert witnesses will come in and testify to um, what has happened based on the information that we've been able to provide. In Brockton, we swing for the fences so we can touch home. We coach in Brockton to instill the teamwork that builds a great winning tradition. We do business in Brockton because here you can find a taste of home away from home. We keep our company in Brockton because we love this city. When Brockton is home, everything is within reach.